Hey guys, Mr. Pokey here, back with another video. And today we are finally going through my very first reverse 1999 review uh, after what has been almost two months ever since the game launched back in late October. Uh, I have been playing the game every single day. I'll be, I didn't spend a lot of time theory crafting. I didn't spend a lot of time studying the units and just casually dumping my stamina going through here and there. So this is strictly a review from an extremely, extremely casual player. So the reason why I released this review video after patch 1.2 is because patch 1.2, uh, there's a lot, a lot of quality of life updates when it comes to reverse 1999 and it kind of hooked me back into the game once again as compared to ever since the past couple of months because the content they have is great, but it is truly a side game. Um, The stamina is used up extremely, extremely quickly. And if you guys do not buy the stamina top ups, you guys do not buy the monthly pass, which I personally have really bought, uh, then there is very, very little progression to be made when it comes to developing new units especially when it comes to their limit breaking materials but that being said the best feature that came in version 1.2 not only is it the inclusion of two fairy which my team desperately requires uh, it is also the inclusion of full auto battle feature regardless of whatever stage you play uh, this is one of in my opinion the best quality of life feature especially for casuals like me who is genuinely not extremely good at the game i'm going to be completely transparent i'm not very good at the rotations i'm not very good at determining when should i mix the car when should I combine the cards? When should I use which skill? I just want to be hands off, and my satisfaction from Reverse Titan Knight is looking at my units grow from their level one all the way up to their highest possible level. Now, that aside, version 1.2 also introduced two new units Tooth Fairy and Jessica or Changeling. Uh, Tooth Fairy is the one that I've gotten. If you guys didn't know, um, Tooth Fairy is an extremely, extremely good healer as well as being able to deal tons and tons of damage. And for the reason why my account hasn't been able to clear the end game stage in reverse 1999 was because i refused i simply refused to build up a second healer other than the free healer that i got which was decay right i didn't manage to get balloon party i didn't manage to get medicine pocket and the only other healer my account had was la sauce and i just refused to build her so i'm like you know what I'm just gonna wait for a healer that comes along. Not feel like I've wasted resources investing in like a three star healer like Lasos, and therefore I built two fairy. Maybe my methodology is wrong. Maybe I should have just invested in Lasos because maybe it shows an easier race. But I digress, and what's done has really been done. But what I can say is two fairy so far she has been excellent in my account. Uh, ever since get the inclusion of two fairy, I have now been able to finally clear the first part. I'm not even talking about the memory of chaos stage. I'm not even talking about limbo. I'm talking about the forgotten hall stage, right? The ordinance stage, I believe. And I finally managed to clear it because back then I only had a single healer and my units were just not strong enough to take on both sides uh, with both sides not running a sustain. Perhaps I could have tried grinding out right raising my Lilia to I3 and above but the only I3 I had was Centurion so I just didn't want to go through the trouble of investing that much time and resources min maxing and just pushing through a limbo stage and I just want to very very comfortably clear this game that's reversed and then like and two fairy perfectly encapsulates what I want to achieve in my account. So once I got her I'm quickly progressing through the end game right now I just finished limbo one i'm still gonna be clearing limbo two three four five six hope that with the inclusion of two fairy i can now clear to limbo six as soon as possible but that aside i just want to talk generally about how the game feels like from an extremely casual perspective and excellent excellent point with reverse 1999 is that there is no relic system uh, and that is just such a massive massive uh, sigh of relief for me at least because countless other gacha games gearing system it takes a lot a lot of stamina trying to get the best in class best relics to make your units shine for reverse 1999 that's not the case you essentially have guaranteed progression whether is it through levels whether is it through their i123 or whether is it through their resonance so once you got those sorted out it is guaranteed progression Progression. and you really just need to farm the materials and the game gives tons and tons of materials through all of their events uh, but on the flip side periods where we do not have events uh, the drop rates for those materials whether it's a resonance whether it's, it's your limit break it's really really low when you try to get them from the story mode so that is something i hope then reverse 99 can improve because otherwise it takes an extremely extremely long time to raise a unit from i1 all the way to i3 it really takes a lot a lot of resources i would dare say uh, from my personal experience if i did not have any stamina refreshes at all i would probably take almost close to a week uh, to gather the resources required to raise the unit to all the way to i3 uh, but don't take my word for it because like i said i'm a very very casual player or uh, that's at least what i feel like when i'm trying to raise a unit right now the only two i3 units i have
F is one is being Centurion and one being two fairy. Both of them are maxed out at I3 as well as resonance level 10. Two fairy herself, she was very, very easily raised to I3 as well as resonance level 10 because of the event that's currently ongoing, right? Uh, the event has a ton of ton of value. So for players, they are looking for a casual side game. This is also another reason why this is such an excellent, excellent side game. There are periods of downtime and there are periods of art time. And the moment you clear out the entire event shop, you essentially have enough resources to pretty much I3 uh, the specific rate up unit, which in this case is going to be two fairy. So once that is done, um, then there is very little incentive to spend a lot, a lot of time on this game, uh, other than this purpose of min maxing. Maybe you want to test out new comps, test out new units. Uh, if you just want a game that you can admire the graphics, admire the storyline, admire the units while looking at some bomb ass animations, as well as some basic turn based mechanics, then Reverse 1999 is going to be an excellent, excellent game for you in that sense, right? Because the moment you're done with the event, the moment you're done with your stamina, you're there's pretty much nothing much for you to do in the game anymore. Um, and that's why it's just such a, that's why I said at the start of the video, it is a side game of a side game, but it absolutely excels in this department of being a side game. Now, aside from the amazing graphics, storytelling, voice acting, and I do say this with a genuine heart, right? I think Reverse 99 has the best voice acting across any gacha game. Um, their Chinese voice acting, English voice acting, Japanese voice acting, as well as even Korean voice acting, they're all absolutely fantastic. The actual gameplay itself, there is a certain level of depth. It is not like a fully, completely hands-off auto game because if you guys really, really want to min-max things, you can pull some really, really crazy combos for example synchronizing of uh, corns debuff I, i'm sure i absolutely butchered the name but synchronizing corns debuff with the bar from sort of and then unleashing the bar from like um like pickles to have increased damage and then letting centurion hitting a ton of damage or saving up her skill when she uses a skill because centurion does increase damage the higher the moxie goes so there can be a lot of depth in this game if you really really want to get down to it but at the same time the gameplay can also be very shallow you just want to go full auto uh make sure that you have enough sustain make sure that you have enough damage and you can pretty much clear most of the content in this game without having too much difficulty very very low skill floor when you want to actually get involved with reverse 1999 uh, it's very very easy to pick up full auto has already been implemented in version 1.2 so players should have no issues getting to the game but there is a pretty high skill ceiling i would say if you guys really want to min max the absolute best combinations when should you synchronize your cards when should you use the skills when should you use this who should you use especially when it comes to elemental advantage team building so there can be quite a lot of depth that goes behind reverse Verse 19 and 9, but like I mentioned, this is strictly from a perspective of a casual for now because I haven't gotten the time to actually get very in depth with the reverse 19 and 9. But this might change into the future uh, when we get more and more interesting team comps, right? As of this point, reverse 19 and 9 is now available on iOS, Google Play, as well as PC. Click the link in the description to download the game and gain up to 73 summons, as well as a guaranteed six star character in 30 pools. Not to mention the current event that's going right now, the current rate up banner that's going right now with a nightmare at green lake is two fairy which is like i mentioned one of if not the best healers that any account could hope for she can pretty much be used with almost every single team comp just like how if she's basically like the equivalent of fusion or Lord if i can put it in that sense right an extremely extremely well versatile healer that can be slapped onto any team and she's just really really good surely this is enough i'm at one two three four five six seven seven pity you get it on the first temple true 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 yeah it's just it just started <laughs> Ah, all right, I see, I see, I see, I see. Holy shit. I do not mind this at all. Is she good? Is she good? Yo, please tell me she good, man. Yo, please tell me she's good. Good to look at. <laughs> oh my god, bruh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, wait, wait, chat, chat, wait, chat. Is this the SSR summon? Is it? Oh, sorry, sorry, okay. Is this a six star animation or is this a five star animation? Is there even a difference? Orange is six star. Wait, this is not orange. Am I blind? Is this not orange? Does it not look orange? Yo! Three five stars. Yo, we do. I take that any day, man. Um, yeah, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Yo, she good. Yo, she looks pretty good. She, yo, she good? She, she good? Decent? She, she, she's alright. Tenant? 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 
to Nant. Yo, is her dupes good? Yo, maybe maybe she's better with dupes, right? But donkers? Can I get one more with donkers, though? Yo, what is this? Who the f is this? Yo, is she good? Yo, is she good? Small girl. <laughs> All right, it is what it is then. I mean, it's still three five stars, so I'm not gonna complain though. Oh my god, what is this god? What is this poo, man? Okay, is this a five star? Sorry, is this a six star? How can I? I, I genuinely can't tell. Oh, I genuinely can't tell, guys. Let's see what we get. Get my eyes checked. Um, is is he good? Give me like a give me like a tier. Give me like a tier. Give me like a tier. Never use him. Bet F. Wait, so he's he's yanking. <laughs> okay, no. Oh man, 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 oh man. Oh, man. All, right, all right, all right, all right. Check. Peep this guys. I, I swear to God, I can't tell. Okay, I think I need to see the six star animation. Cause right now I can't tell. Wait, this is six star? This is six star? What is the? Am I blind? Dude, I swear to God, there's no difference. I swear to God, there's no difference. Yellow. Oh, oh my God, I can't. Okay, yo, honestly, chat. Why didn't they make six stars rainbow or some shit? Why must be? Why must it be yellow and orange? Like you know, like rare is blue. Uh, uh, SR is is purple. Then the SSR is like yellow, like for the legendary, right? So I mean, if this game is six star. Why not just make it like like rainbow or like like red? Or like, or like green or some shit. Like, why yellow and orange, man? Oh, okay. From from that boom. Okay, from that boom, I could tell it was six star because that that the boom was a lot bigger. The boom was a lot bigger, guys. Um, but I I, gen I genuinely can't. Okay, let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Do you get corn? 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 Oh my god, it's not corn. Ooh. Mom, yo, they have too, they have way too many mommies, not gonna lie. They have way too many mommies, not gonna lie. She's good if you don't have a beast DPS. Curse of eternity. <laughs> Guys, I don't even have eternity. All right, all right. Yo, surely the game wouldn't, wouldn't gut me, right? Surely the game, this is literally my first stream on Reverse 1999. Surely the game gave me some face, right? Wait, what's, what's two fairies element again? Star, 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 all right. Winners win, guys. Winners win. What can I say, guys? Winners win. <laughs> you know, it, it's really that easy. What, what can I say, you know? It's really just that easy. All right. How was it? It was a 50 pulls. And with that, we have come to the end of this reverse 1999 review after two months. Personally, for me, I really, really enjoyed this as a side game, right? Once I'm done with my Star Real content, once I'm done finishing out my edits, finishing out my daytime job, then just spend less than five minutes and I'm pretty much done with the stamina in reverse 1999. Then I just look at my characters, feel good about it, and then log off. So I really think that from a side game perspective, this is one of, if not the best, in the gacha market right now, right? So if you guys have any discussions, we do have a very active Reverse 1999 sub in Pokey's Village right now. It has been established ever since Reverse 1999 launched. So if you guys want any further discussions, any team help, any uh, meta analysis, uh, we have a ton of villagers that's very, very active in this community. So do check out Pokey's Village. If you guys want to check out my stream, that's going to be at twitch.tv slash MrPokey, where I stream two to three times a week and a schedule will be updated on Discord as well, right? That's all I have for today's content. All the best for your two fairy pools and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.